What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. In today's video, we got ourselves a banger. We got ourselves a top tier team that features Belly Jump, Azumarill, alongside with T-Tar and Garchomp combo. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, yo, join the Jeans community by scrolling down a little bit and clicking that big red subscribe button. It only takes about two seconds of your guys' time. That's nothing. That is nothing, considering if you're watching my videos, you've been watching for a little bit now. So click that big red subscribe button and join the community. But let's get started here with the one and only team preview, starting off with Azumarill right here with the Citrus Berry as an item. And Azumarill is phenomenal. Once you get it set up in Belly Drum, it's pretty much a sweep. It is pretty much a sweep. This thing can KO pretty much everything. Plus, it has a first turn priority move with Aqua Jet, so it can outspeed anything. It's just phenomenal. It is legit just broken. Like I said, we got the Citrus Berry as its item. We're rocking the uh, huge power as its ability, which doubles its Pokemon attack stat. And then the moveset we're rocking with is belly drum aqua jet play rough for stab and last but not least we got protect second pokemon on the squad is going to be tyranitar over here tyranitar is just an absolute beast in double battles here we got protect dragon dance crunch and rock slide alongside with the sandstream ability and last but not least the item that we are holding is lumberry to protect us from status conditions third pokemon on the squad is garchomp cannot have t-tar with sandstream without sand bell garchomp over here we gave this thing to Life Orb as an item. We're rocking Sand Veil, like I just mentioned, as its ability. And the moveset is fairly normal with Sword Dance, Protect, Dragon Call, and EQ. You really can't go wrong with this moveset. It's too strong not to use. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be Raikou. And Raikou is so good. Raikou is super, super good. Great stats, great speed. Can out bulk Pokemon. And plus, you can set him up with Calm Mind and get him rolling out from there. We got Thunderbolt, Calm Mind, Snarl the Drop Special Attack, and Protect for its four moves. We're rocking out with the Inner Focus as its ability so we can't be flinched or, you know, like uh, Intimidate can't affect us even though we're special attacking. And then last but not least, the item that we're rocking with is going to be Leftovers to constantly regain HP at the end of every single turn. Fifth Pokemon on the squad is going to be Togekiss, and we need Togekiss for our Belly Drum Azumarill. We need a Pokemon to use Follow Me to kind of redirect the shots, allow our Azumarill to set up, and get it rolling from there. So Togekiss is going to be that Pokemon. We got the Ipapa Berry as its item. We're rocking with the Serene Grace for its ability, and then the moveset we're rocking with is Air Slash, Yawn, Follow Me, and Protect. It's a support moveset right here, because like I said, we need this Pokemon just to be a support Pokemon, just to allow our Belly Drum Azumarill to set up and get rolling into battle. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be Heatran. And I always feel like you need a Pokemon with a fire move and a uh, steel move, or a steel Pokemon and a fire Pokemon on every single double team. It just counters uh, Scizors and counters Fairy type Pokemon, which are super, super strong in BDSP doubles. So Heatran fits that spot perfectly. We got Flash Cannon, we got Heat Wave, we got Taunt to Taunt opposing support mods, and then we got Protect for its fourth and final move. Ability for this guy is going to be Flash Fire, so you know we can soak up fire shots. And last but not least, the item that we are holding is going to be the Shuka Berry. But there it is, guys. Here is this amazing team. Let's hop into that Coliseum. Look to get some wins with it. So, guys, hopping into battle number one, our opponent picked the rules, and he's picking six Pokemon. So, I'm with it all day. Let's get ripping here. Let's get rolling and look for a win here in battle number one. But I feel like Togekiss and Azumarill combo can just get ripping and thriving out from here. I'm really liking that. So, I'm going to lead him, and I'm going to bring the rest of the squad. That's my play. That is my play all day. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Right? Azumarill combo is looking good. It's looking so good. It is looking so good up against these Pokemon. I mean, he does have the Breloom, which can kind of counter me, but, like, I have Togekiss just to follow me those shots. And I constantly follow me until I take out the Breloom, and then we can get rolling from there. I'm with it. Or I can do a Protect turn, go into an Air Slash that's four times super effective, and just dump on it from there. But, yeah, hopefully this guy's picking six, because usually if you want four Pokemon, you set it to four. This guy set it to two, two to six. So I'm not going to take the risk. If he brings six Pokemon, or if he brings four Pokemon, I will only use four Pokemon. That'll be, that'll be my thing. But, uh, yeah. Let's see, let's see. But yo, we got a jam. We got a jam, which means we have to win. I think this is like Elite Four, right? He goes Stantler alongside with Milo. Like, okay. We're gonna go Togi alongside with Zumrell, and yeah, we're gonna have the uh, belly jump set up. Let's see if this guy brought six or four. Please bring six. Please bring six. Again, if he brought four, I'm gonna be using a uh, T-Tar and Garchomp. I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna use my Pokemon. I don't wanna like uh, pick my Pokemon depending on what he has. So we'll, we'll only use T-Tar and Garchomp. That's fine. That is fine. And oh, are we lagging a little bit? Now we got, oh, and he only brought four. Only brought four. It's okay. We're going to sweep this anyway. Okay, so we're only allowed to use T-Tar Garchomp. That's going to be our point. We are only allowed to use T-Tar Garchomp. That's fine. And if he if he defeats all four, I will run the battle. I will run it. I'll give him the win. We'll, we'll go from there. We'll roll off from there. But yeah, we're going to belly jump set up here. We're going to go into follow me. And this thing's going to go for a skill swap. I'm going to take my, my Serene Grace. What's going to give me? Intimidate? Ooh, great play by him. He's going to turn competitive. I like that. 
I like that, yo. I like that plan, yo. That's sick. That is definitely sick. I like that, yo. So he triggers competitive on his own. That's pretty dope. That is pretty dope. That is really dope. He's gonna go for an ice beam here. That's totally fine. That should be able to soak all day, right? Yes, sir, Togi. That's huge, Togus. I'm gonna pop a nice little. I pop a berry, and from here, I'm just gonna drop a play rough into Milotic. Try to take that thing out and just follow me in the shot. Because yeah, Milotic's the one, you know, doing all the dirty stuff. And my one thing that I don't like about this Azumarill team is I messed up doing my EVs. So I do not pop my Citrus Berry right away. That's sad face. That's definitely sad face. But we're going to play rough over onto you. We're going to try to finish you off. And I'm just going to follow me the shot. Right? Milotic's the one with the who's posing the big threat. I want to get rid of that Pokemon all day. And then I kind of just it and get after the battle that way. So I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. But yeah. We're only allowed to use uh, Garchomp and Titar after this. Only two Pokemon we're allowed to use. And that kind of stinks because Milotic's scary. Milotic's definitely scary. I, I would have rather, like, I should have picked him beforehand because Heatran would have been a good choice due to, like, him having Scissor. I believe he had Scissor and he had Boot. Yeah, Heatran could have been. Been a gorgeous pick, but yeah, it's okay. It's okay. That's all me. That is all me for picking six. All me is going to come out here again. We're going to try to get off this player off. If I can get rid of this Milotic, oh my god, we're going to be sitting pretty. Me sitting so pretty. Skill swaps can come in here, and he's gonna take back his intimidate. It's totally fine. That's totally fine. You can intimidate me again. Like go, go ahead, intimidate me again. We're still plus five. <laughs> We're still plus five. We're still plus five. Ice cream's gonna fly through here. Bang! That's gonna do take out Toe Kiss and uh, Belly Drum Azumarill. I just need you, I need you laying this play rough. I need you slapping up with this play rough, dude. Play rough comes out here. Okay, listen, get it out of my face, right? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Later, Skater. Later. So we get rid of Milotic. That Pokemon really posed a threat. And I'm going to go into... Uh, I think I'm going to go into Garchomp here. So we can only use Garchomp and Titar. We can only use Garchomp and Titar. Only Garchomp and Titar. And he's going to throw out who? Breloom. Breloom comes out here. And uh, what do I do here? I think my play here is going to be Protect my Zumel. And, uh, Dragon Claw you? Or I can EQ. I could definitely EQ. Now I'm gonna Dragon Claw this breed. Get them po posing a threat, dude. Not about it. He's gonna end up withdrawing the Standler. I'm with that all day. He's gonna show his final Pokemon. And is it gonna be Scissor? It's gonna be Cresselia. Okay, Cresselia is a little scary. Cresselia is definitely a little scary. I'm gonna drop this little Protect here. Let's get rolling. Garchomp's gonna drop a nice little Dragon Claw. Built, and we're hoping he's dropping like a seed bomb or something into my uh, Azumarill slot, right? We know he poses a threat. He's gonna spore. And he spores my chop, dude. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you do that? Okay. That's fine by me. From here, we're, we're obviously gonna go for an Aqua Jet. We're taking out Breloom and uh, I'm gonna try Swords Dance. Even though we're, we're asleep. We're definitely asleep this next turn. I'm gonna try Swords Dance here. I'm gonna try to Swords Dance to get rolling from there. Get rolling from here. Hopefully, he's not protecting the Breloom. That could be ugly. That could be real ugly. That could be real ugly. But I want him to hit me just so I can trigger my Citrus Berry. Just like a little bit, you know? Just a little bit. I would love for my Berry to kind of get triggered. I need my Berry, dude. He's gonna use Protect. No! How dare you? He protects there. That's fine. He's wasting out a couple turns here. We're sending Aqua Jets that way. Let's see what he does with Cresselia. What are you doing with Cresselia? That's my, my question. Ice Beam. He's gonna take out Chomp all day. Can you eat that, Chomp? No, sir. No, sir, you cannot eat that. Wow, you're sitting in such a tough spot here. Such a tough spot. Such a tough spot. We only said we could bring out T-Tar. Okay. Our opponent's actually playing this one really good. That protect was huge. Yeah, so Aqua Jet's gonna be a, a must to come in here. And then do I Dragon Dance? I could definitely Dragon Dance. I could protect, because I'm not I'm not dealing with that uh, mock punch. I'm really not dealing with that mock punch. So, you know, I'm going to protect here. I'm going to take out Breloom with this uh, Aqua Jet. And then I'm going to roll from there and decide what I want to do from the battle. That's a great battle. This is such a good battle, dude. This is such a good battle. Okay. What are we doing? What is going on here? Yeah, I think he's going to mock punch. I really do think he's going to mock punch. So I got to watch out for that. Intimidate could come out here. Intimidate could do me do me a little dirty. Even though Zumarill's already plus five. It was plus six. Or I got Intimidate once. Uh, but Intimidate could do my T-Tar a little dirty. We know he has to stand on a rocket with that in the back end. Let's see what he does. Let's 
Let's see what he does. Yo, solid first battle for the video, man. Solid first battle for the video. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. Our opponent's playing really good. Usually, like, once you get Belly Jump and Zoom Rail set up, opponents don't really know what to do, and I'm just like, Aqua Gen, take him out. But our opponent's playing really good. Making some good protects. Swapping out good. I'm loving it. But he's got to swap into Sandler here. And if Sandler doesn't have Focus Ash, he's definitely dead. He's definitely dead. I was going to Dragon Dance this turn. I was going to D Dance this turn. But Aqua Jet plus four has a chance to KO in here. Could be big. We're going to protect our Tyrantar. We're going to see what he's going to do here. Aqua Jet coming through here. Plus four KO, please. Now he. Let's go. Still OP. It was a crit. It was a crit. We love it. It was a big time crit. Okay. Um, I think he's going to protect the Breedlin this turn. Energy Ball's coming through here. No! You rock an Energy Ball? What is this, Cresselia? Wow. That's tough news. That's real tough news. This thing's rocking Energy Ball. Get out my face, dude. Um, I can't swap in anybody. I'm just gonna, uh, you know, just keep protecting Heatran. Wow, I just realized this. Uh, what should I do? I'm just gonna keep taunting him or something. Okay, so I can't use Heat or I can't use Heatran here. I cannot use Heatran, so you know what? I'm just gonna start sending taunts. If our opponent kills my T-Tar, then it's over. Then it's over. But I'm gonna just keep sending taunts. Or like protect. I'm just gonna keep sending taunts. Because I can't I can't protect my boy. Uh Cresselia. I'm trying to think. He has energy ball, ice beam. I wonder what else. I do not want to taunt like a Pokemon that's using like moves like that. So you know, I'm gonna just taunt him because he's low HP. I'm just gonna drop this rock slide. It's gonna be my play. We are minus one. Ooh. Ooh. Hopefully he's just not going after my heat train. I want, I want to have a fair battle. I want to have a fair battle. I want to have a fair battle. He's going to protect you. That's totally fine. We're dropping a rock slizzle anyway. And maybe t is a bit faster than Cresselia, which could be good. It is. So maybe we get a flinch off here. Maybe we get off a flinch. Nah, he send it this way. And chip it up a little bit of damage. A Dragon Dance would have been beautiful this turn. Give me a flinch. Give me a flinch. Give me a flinch on the crest. Oh, it did flinch. That's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Buffett's flying through here. Will one more Buffett take that out? It will not. It's ugly. That is ugly. But we're going to keep taunting. We're going to drop another rock slide. And we're going to go from here. We're going to go from here. It is nice to know that we outspeed the uh, Cresselia. Wow, this is... This, this battle's too good. This battle's way too good. This is way too good, ladies and gents. Way too good. But yeah, hopefully this guy's not worrying about this uh, heat train. I'm not gonna do much off to it. Just come on, bro. you didn't have to spin my heat train like that. I'm not using them. There you go, keep him asleep. Keep him asleep. I don't know if we should count this as a win if we get it. Rockside comes through here, and who dodged that? Please take out the Breloom. Okay, so it hits Breloom. I'm with that all day. What's he going for here? Energy Ball? Something along those lines? I'm not using Heat Train. I do not want to touch him. Please just go after my T Tar. If you're gonna go after anybody, please go after T Tar. He's gonna pop a trigger. Nice little play. Nice little play. I'll give it to him. I could Dragon Dance here. It's for my attack boost, but I think just dropping crunches and really go from there. But yeah, if I if I brought four Pokemon, if I brought four Pokemon, my T Tar probably would have been asleep. He probably could just rolled out. It didn't be like that. So I think he's still gonna pick up K on T Tar anyway. But we're able to eat that. We just need. Oh, he tried and woke up. We're gonna taunt this thing. It's okay. It's okay. He already got his trick him off, so it's, it's wonderful. It is wonderful. We're going to go for the crunch watch. We're going to need a crit here anyway. Some big damage. I think we won this one. I think we won this one. You guys let me know in the comment section down below. Did I really win this one? It's all good if you guys say no, because, like, you know, we had six Pokemon. And uh, he did spore my uh, Heat Train. He did spore my Heat Train. And if he would have spore my T Tar, it would have probably been a totally different battle. But he cancels the battle. There it is, guys. 1 0 to get us started. We are actually rematching our first opponent, so this time I'm gonna pick four Pokemon. Hopefully he doesn't switch and pick six, but we're gonna be rocking with four Pokemon. He has a pretty cool team with Shen Ninja, Gardevoir, which if I had to guess is Choice Scarf Gardevoir. Choice Scarf Gardevoir is used a lot here. Then he has the Weezing, the Porygon 2, the Camera. Who I really like that Pokemon. And then he has the Intimidate on the Gyarados. But uh, T Tar Garchomp combo is looking kind of solid, but I am scared of that Gardevoir. So you know what? I'm gonna leave the Heatran because Heatran does some work on a lot of different Pokemon. So Heatran, you're coming in here. I could lead the. I could lead the T-Tar, or I can lead the Raikou. I kind of like the Raikou here, and then bringing the Garchomp T-Tar combo in the back. I'm with it all day, yo. I swear, if this dude picks six Pokemon now, we're going to have a problem. We're going to have a problem. But, yo, it is so hot in my room where I record and everything. It's ridiculous. It's unbearable. It's like that temperature where it's, like, not hot enough to turn on the AC, but not cold enough. You know, you know what I'm saying? So I've just been sitting here 
sweating like crazy, had the fan on, had the windows open. Whew. It's hot. It is hot. It's one of those times where you're sleeping and you're sweating when you're sleeping. It's just all. It's just no bueno. No bueno. But let's see what this guy does. Pick four Pokemon, please. Not six. Not six. Four Pokemon, please. Show me four, please. Four. Cool. He picked four. I picked four. Let's get after it. But now I can just, you know, go straight into a flash can here. And I'm going to calm mine set up here. I think he just gives me a free calm mine setup chance here. Which I really, really like. I really, really like. So now we're going to have a, a real battle with this with our opponent. Even though that last one could have went either way. It definitely could have went either way. Because if I was picking four Pokemon, I would have took my time and picked, like, different Pokemon. I probably would have maybe brought the heat train. It would have been close. But he's going to skill swap me. What are we on here? He's going to take my flash fire away. That's fine. We're not going for a, uh... We're not, we're not, we're not going for a, uh... We're not going for heat wave. We're obviously dropping a flash cannon. But we're gonna calm mine set up a Raku. Raku's gonna get buzzed near. Raku's gonna get buzzed near, which we love. Raku's gonna get that going, and then Heat Trance gonna flash cannon. This should just absolutely dump on guard. Get out of my face, right? Oh, is this thing sashed? It's not sashed. It just does that. And he goes for ooh. He doesn't realize that poison doesn't work on uh Poison doesn't work on the what's it called? Poison does not work on the steel types. But, uh, actually, let's just do this. Let's go here. Let's go into a flash cannon onto you. And then I'm going to snarl all, all around. Just so I can kill this Gardevoir and kind of go from there. You know, withdraw who? Gardevoir's going to get withdraw. Go into a special attacker, please. A special attacker. A lovely special attacker. It's not going to take the snarl too well. Cheninja. The ninja can come out here. Okay, so Heat Wave. Heat Wave's going to be to play. Heat Wave's going to be to play. He's going to always oh, going to double withdraw. Who's he going into? This size gas is gone. Tracy's gonna come out here. Oh, yo, we got Wonder Guard. We got Wonder Guard. <laughs> yo, we got. Yo, it's GG's. My Heat Trend's not dying. My Heat Trend is not dying. Oh, yo, he's got Wonder Guard. What is going on? Yo, this match is never gonna end. This match is never gonna end. We can't kill Poor God, too. We have no fighting moves. This match is never gonna end. This match is never gonna end. This guy, this guy just broke the game. Our opponent just broke the game. I'm trying to think, is there a way around this? Is there a way around this? Waterford can't kill Mikey Tran. I know poor guy can't kill Mikey Tran. This match will never end. Match will never end. This match is never gonna end. I do not know what to do. This guy just broke the game. He broke the game. He broke it. He broke the game. He broke the game. He broke it. I thought he gave us the win at first. I was just like, oh, yo, he gave me one guy. Jeez. But then his poor god 2 came out here and traced us as well. That is whack. This game is not going to end. It's going to have to go on a timer. Do we have anybody in the back end to take that Pokemon out? Look out Shen Ninja, no problem. Shen Ninja just died instantly. Now he has poor god 2. We don't have anybody in the back to take that thing out. No fighting moves, right? <laughs> no fighting move. Hopefully this guy quits. I'll take that win all day. I'll take this win all day. Yeah, we're just gonna flash can here. And let me see that Pokemon. Yeah, like, dude. It's not happening. It's not happening. It's not happening. This match will never end. This match will never end. And we're gonna take out Weezing. Maybe he'll cancel. Maybe he will cancel. Hopefully it'll cancel. If not, I will. I don't know if I should chalk this up as a win or a loss. I don't know, yo. Dude, the matches today have just been crazy. They've been whack. We did a 6v4, and then we, we have a Wonder Guard battle right here. Thunderbolt's gonna fly through here. We're gonna take out Weezing. Get the Splash Cannon later, dude. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. I'm not dealing with it. And then what do we do? What do we do? Oh, no. There was... I'm stupid. We had our chance to win. We had our chance to win. 
we had our chance to win right there. He had neutralized gas on the field, and we should have just like dumped into the Porygon. We would have won. <laughs> this match ain't ending. This match will never end. We had our chance. We we messed it up. He's gonna go for an ice beam. Yeah, I'm 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 just gonna run this one. I'm just gonna run this one. That's GG's. That is GG's. Well, I don't know. You guys you guys let me know in the comment section down below if that was a win or a loss. I don't really know. I really don't know, but uh hopefully you guys are enjoying the content. Like I said, smash that like button if you are. But let's hop into our third and final battle and try to have at least a normal battle in today's video. So guys, third and final battle coming at you guys. We're versing the same exact opponent. Again, I could not find anybody on the in the Coliseum. I think I waited for like 20 minutes going in and out, in and out, in and out. And this guy just kept staying in there and winning the battle. So you know what? We'll rock into it. We'll have ourselves a third and final battle with this guy. We're going to pick four. And there's no Wonder Guard, which is really good. There's no Wonder Guard out here. But how should I do this one? How should I play it? I feel like Raikou could be a great move. Raikou could be solid because he could be going into that Milotic combo. So, you know, I'm going to lead the Raikou. I kind of want to bring Azumarill because Azumarill is really cool. But, but, you know, it's all good if not. It's all good if not. He does have the Heatran. And you know what? You know what? Let's do this. Let's go, let's go Togi. Yo, let's try to set up Azumarill here. Togi, Azumarill. We'll bring Raikou and Heatran. I'm kind of digging that. Or no, dude. The Cresselia is scaring me. The Cresselia is scaring me. You know what? We'll bring Titar and Heatran. Titar, Heatran sound good? Yeah, I'm just scared of the... Uh, I'm scared of the Cresselia and the Scissor. Those are like the two Pokemon that really pose threats. So if I can bring Titar out here and uh, Heatran, we kind of counteract both of them. So let's get it. Let's get after it. I don't even know what a record is right now. We could be 0-2. It's at your guys' discretion. It could be 1-1. One one. We could be 2-0. and oh. I, don't, I do not know. I do not know. But all I know is we, we didn't get swept. So we're, we're thriving here. He's going to go in with the Intimidate squad. Uh, he's probably going to skill swap me. Go for Intimidate. That's totally fine. Uh, bup, 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 bup. What do I do? Do I belly jump set up here? I could definitely belly jump set up here. Uh, do I yawn to a Pokemon? I'm trying to think, should I follow me this? I'm definitely going to yawn here. Because he is going to go for that skill swap. And you know what? I'm just going to belly jump with the Alco for following me. So I'm just seeing what he's doing here. I don't want to see. Skill swap, always going to skill swap. There goes my huge power. My huge power's gone. It's rough news. It's rough news. My huge power is gone. And I want it back. I want it back. <laughs> I want my huge power back. <laughs> wonder how much damage we're really going to do without huge power. So we shouldn't be able to do it. Still a ridiculous amount. Very strong Pokemon. I knew I should have led the Raikou. No one's going to come out here. We're going to put you to sleep. I'll say night night to him. Night night to you. He's going to go for the Ice Beam. Probably into the Tokus, right? The good thing I didn't go for Follow Me. I didn't, didn't want to waste a turn. Did not want to waste a turn. I pop a berry. Is poking. We're getting some HP back. Did we get some lovely HP back? Uh, What should I do here? I do here. I think I just, you know, aqua jetting into that, uh, I think I'm just aqua jetting into Sandler, taking him out, and then just kind of like, uh, start air slashing over onto that, uh, smile there, because we could start getting flinches. We have the, uh, we have the Spring Grace alongside with that flinch chance on so the air slash. It could be really good if we get a flinch, because it'll just go to sleep next turn. We might swap it, though. We'll see. We shall see. We shall see. Make a move, my guy. Make a move. Yo, Stanler's such a cool Pokemon, though. Look, look at him just standing there with his little antlers. Cracks me up, dude. Little deer Pokemon. I do like Weird Ear and Legend Arcade. Such a cool Pokemon. Hopefully, they bring that in Gen 9. Or at least those uh, forms. The Hisuian forms. That'd be really dope. That'd be really dope. Because a lot of them are dope. Cleaver's dope. It's not even a Hisuian form, but it's really dope Pokemon. Uh, who else, what other Hisuian forms do they have? They have the Quillfish one. There's a lot of a lot of different cool ones in that game. I really do like... I, I don't think there's one bad one. You got the Arcanine, who's dope. The Lilligan, who's dope. Weavile, they're just all cool. He's going to end up withdrawing the stand. Who's he going to go into? Who's going to take the Sock? Who's getting beat up by the Sock? It's going to be Breloom. Breloom's going to take the Sock. It's Aqua Jet. Right here. Oh, uh, you said it this way. We do not have huge power, but still. Decent damage. Decent damage. Air Slash can come through here. And can we get the flinch here? Flinch could be gorgeous. Give it to me. Let's go. Serene Grace broken. The ring grace broken. Okay, so this Pokemon's gonna go to sleep. It's a great turn for us. Uh, what do we think he does from here? He could spore me. He could definitely spore me, which we do not like. You know, I'm just gonna air slash. And I'm gonna I'm gonna protect the uh, spore over onto who? I think he's gonna spore my Zumarel, right? He's definitely gonna spore you. Breloom's scary, dude. Breloom's way too good. Breloom is way too good. 
And we have that Pokemon to sleep here. If he goes for the Spore into Azumarill here, we're just going to be able to dump on it. That's going to be going to be a great turn for us. Chelsea. Chelsea, we are protecting our little rabbit. This thing's a bunny, right? It's a type of bunny. And we outspeed the Breloom anyway. So Breloom, get on out my game, yo. Huge turn for us. We get rid of that Pokemon. His Milotic should still be asleep. And we should just get rolling out from here. You going to bring back out Santler? I can definitely see that happening. Sandler coming back out here. Definitely see that happening. We do have the Raikou in the back end, which is beautiful, right? Did we have the Raikou? No, I don't think we did. We brought T-Tar and Heatran. Okay, we have to start getting right after this thing. Smile I'm going to start playing rough in that slot. Yeah, we definitely have to start getting after it. Let's see who, we go, who, who he is going to go into. Maybe Cress. He might, he might be rocking Cress. He's going to go back into Sandler. We do not know his uh, final Pokemon. And then from here, uh, yeah, I'm going to play. I'm going to double down to Milotic. Milotic just poses such a big threat right now. With Heatran and Tyrantar in the back end? No, sir. No, sir. Let's get after this thing. Play roughs. Air slashes. We, we, we need this thing to get out of here. I wonder what Sandler's going to do, though. Sandler might uh, swap or skill swap again. Definitely see that happening. Double edge. Ooh. Ooh. Double edge coming out from Stantler. Shut up, Aqua Gen. Shut up, Aqua Gen. That one's on me. Air Slash going to fly through here. Lynch chances are high, dude. Lynch chances are high. Still slow. Okay, so from here, who do we bring out? Definitely not Heatran. We got to bring out T-Tar. We got to bring out T-Tar and just start. I think Air Slash, Rock Slide. Air Slash, Rock Slide. Right? Just have flinch chances high. We could we could Dragon Dance here. I'm thinking about doing it. I think we should. Yeah, let's, let's D-Dance. Let's Air Slash. I mean, I think Double Edge is going to come into Togekiss. I could protect that thing. But nah, we're going to go for this. We're going to go for this. We'll let him double edge if he wants to do that. This is a solid battle. It's a solid battle. A nice, solid battle. Let's see what's he going to do here. Please, no double edge. Please, no double edge. Leave me alone. He withdraws Sandler. Okay, I'm, I'm cool with that. He's going to show his final Pokemon here, right? Final Pokemon coming out here? Yep, Scizor. We do have Heatran in the back, dude. If we could get... If we can get rid of this Milotic, we should be sitting really good in this. Dragon Dance can come out here. I think Milotic does wake up here, but we have that flinch chance high with the screen raise. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Or we'll still be asleep. Oh, it's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. Okay, uh... What do we do from here? Follow me this bull punch? Yo, this is tough. Follow me this bull punch? We gotta get rid of Milotic. I can have Heatran come in here all day. I can have Heatran come in here all day. Get some work done. So, you know what? I'm gonna follow me this bull punch. I do not need him taking out my, uh... Titar, and I'm just going to crunch over on you. Try to get rid of this Milo. Gotta be my play. Gotta be my play. Gotta be my play. See what he does. He could hard swap back into Stanley, which I could definitely see happen. It'd be a beautiful play, but we're hoping he's not going to do that. Hoping he's not going to do that, dude. I'm so stuffy right now. You guys see me wiping my nose. <laughs> my nose is like, it's not like real runny, but like it's running a little bit. It's got a little half marathon going on here. This thing protects. No! Wow. Gets off a huge protect. Follow me. He's going to come out here. You know, likey. Do not like that. Little punch coming through. <laughs> ah! Okay. Uh, from here? What's that play? It's a genius player. Protect T-Tar? Going to a heat wave? Wow, dude, what a protect. Give it to him all day. What a protect. Yeah, I think we have to protect Heat Train here, right? Well, not Heat Train. I think we have to protect our T-Tar here. There's one bullet punch. One bullet punch could definitely do me dirty. One bullet punch is scary. Heat wave's gonna have to poke here all day. And if I can get rid of this scissor, if I get rid of this scissor, I don't mind if Heatran goes down here because I think my T-Tar can, can clutch this one. Yes, Stanler in the back, but Stanler's not. He doesn't really pose a threat. He's intimidating and then like double edge. We're Dragon Dance. Let's see. That comes out from T-Tar. Beautiful. No protect from Scizor, right? Full punch with the block. It's huge. Go first, Heatran. Go first, Heatran. Oh, we doubled in the T-Tar. 
He doubled into T-Tar. That's a huge turn for us. Huge turn. We're going to say bye-bye to Scissor all day. Oh, my God, dude. That turn is gorgeous. That turn is gorgeous. Turn is gorgeous. Wow. Yo, what a huge protect from us. That might have just won us the battle. He doubled into T-Tar. He doubled into Tyranitar. Wow, that skull probably would have taken out my heat trap. Because that is competitive. He's plus. What is he? Plus two? He's plus two. That's that's like weakness policy proc. That would have taken out my heat trap all day. That would have won him the battle. But now we're sitting here. I'm just going to crunch over into Milotic. I'm gonna get after this uh Thandler. Actually, I'm gonna double down him. I don't want to double down him out there just in case protect. You know what? We're just gonna flash cannon. Do this, and I'm just gonna crunch. I could rock slide. But uh, we go we going into we going into crunch. 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 Big plays by us. Big plays by us, big protects. Oh yo, what a third and final battle, yo. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the content, man. We've been having some crazy battles in today's video. He ends up protecting Mildic. Good thing I did not double down into it. That was our play all along. And what's he gonna do from here? He's gonna skill swap us here. He's gonna take my flash fire. I'm not going for heat waves. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. You can have flash fire all you want. He's gonna proc that competitive again. Yo. <laughs> Yo, this is getting crazy. Let's get crazy. Competitive coming out here. Competitive is coming out here. I think now we double into Milotic. Milotic's just too scary. But it's such a big threat. Crunch gonna get blocked. And Flash Cannon's gonna poke through. How much damage are we gonna do with Flash Cannon? <sighs> Put him down low. Can Sandstorm take him out? Let's go. Let's go. That's gonna be GG's. Wrap it up, baby. Actually, I don't know. Wrap it up. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. I think we have it. I think we have it. I hope we have it. I hope we have it. But uh, Milotic's chilling here. He's in HP. A little low. Can't protect again. I mean, it can, but uh, it's going to be a weird chance. But from here, you know, I'm just going to crunch into Flash Cannon, right? Flash Cannon, go for the crunch. All day, baby. All day. Cancel the battle. Just cancel it. I don't, I don't even, even want to play anymore. <laughs> I don't even want to play anymore. Crunch comes through here. Can this KO? It does. It does it all by itself. There it is, guys. Third and final battle was the only normal battle, and we ended up grabbing ourselves a beautiful victory there. This might have been my craziest set of three battles ever in Pokemon history. That was just insane. That was just insane. The first battle went for 6v4, and then the second battle was Wonder Guard City. Everybody had Wonder Guard, and the battle would legit not end till the end, or it's if time ran out. But we probably would have won that battle if we would have just waited time. But, you know, I, I don't got time for that. I do not have time for that. It's not ranked. I'm not getting going up in rank for anything, so it really wasn't worth waiting out time. And then third and final battle was the only normal one. Your boy ended up clutching up and grabbing you guys that win. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.